Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, what have I been up to? Well, where some of you have been producing loads of content and everything with the lockdown, we've been stuck at home, unfortunately, I've still been working. So, it's been a bit of a crazy few months and a very strange time for all of us, but things have been progressing. What has happened? Well, as most people know, I tend to work out in the conservatory, and um, we decided it's about time we turned into a craft room. So it's still a little bit of a work in progress because another project going on at the same time that my wife's working on, which I'll show you as we go round. So let's pick the camera up and have a look what's happened. Right, so what's happened? Well, it still has to be a functional room for other purposes. So we'll see still the dog biscuits. We've got some storage areas and some tools. We then have a dedicated um, painting stroke crafting desk with light. Uh, a magnifier, also with the microphone and everything mounted up. We then come round to the print desk. So this one's got two printers and that and crafting paint stroke GW paints. If I have a quick look underneath, it's all LED light underneath. So this is nice to work on at night. Just move this back. We have a set of drawers and the Anycubic photo on the resin printers underneath. If we can squeeze down here and see we have more storage hidden under here. And on top of the desk we have a double shelf that runs across to provide plenty of storage. As I've said we still have to use this as a functional room to a degree so we then have the washing machine and tumble dryer stacked in the corner. We also have a table, which at the moment is occupied by the crafting buddy, the cat. This table is actually quite nice because it's drop leaf. And if I come down here, both sides have pull out drawers so you can store gaming bits in. And I'll pull out one without anything in it. So there you go. So it's started to be used. As you can see, there's still bits laying around everywhere. The reason behind this is this lump of wood over here, which is going to be a desk for the Lucky Orc in the front room. Um, due to the depth of this desk, we decided not to buy, well, I should say, my wife decided not to buy a worktop because it was silly money. So instead, this is actually made out of two scaffolding planks and it's been what's stained and then waxed so that will actually become a desk that fits under the stairs on a slide so you can just pull it out which makes it a bit awkward to show everything it's still got the wife's heat press you can sort of see down here there's two sets this is a chest of drawers that are acquired from work at the bottom another cupboard and these were the metal storage shelves that used to be over the other side so they're all nicely full, so they've been filled, they've been put as an L shape and then they've just been closed off with some splashback board which was left over from the bathroom so we've still got a chest freezer out here so it means that we've got, when you come in from the kitchen it's white at the back as well so it doesn't look so intrusive and obviously everything doesn't fall off the back of the shelf um, there you go, I'll just come back round And obviously my chair's got a cover on it because of this one. But that's pretty much everything. The one thing we've got to look at is obviously it's a glass roof. So when it's sunny it can be a bit on the um, warm side. Even though I like heat. So we're going to get a button put across there. And across here. And two wire wires run up across the top with fabric with eyelets that can just be pulled across as a blind which is a lot cheaper way of doing it than when you're looking at nearly 150 quid per panel for proper well proper official blinds for a conservatory so it's stupid money I'd rather spend it on figures so there we go that's what I've been up to so let's put the camera down and let's have another chat right so there you have it it's a quick um, look around the craft room where it is at the moment um, obviously it still needs a bit of sorting so once the desktop's out next week 
uh, give me room to get back into all the shelves and have a good clear out again. Obviously I had a big clear out as we went to start with. And it's surprising how much you stash away and don't realise you've got. This has also meant that my painting list has grown slightly because there's stuff I completely forgot about. And I'm going to try and be good and actually clear some of this hidden backlog. There's a few other bits I've been working on. I got asked for different texture rollers. So you've seen the rollers. I got asked for a couple of pins. So I've done two pins thanks to Waterfall Studios who did the files for me. Um, I'll quickly grab them because they're just inside here. I'll reach inside. So we have a couple of rolling pins at the brick and we have the dry stone. I'll do a proper review on these hopefully sometime in the week, get that filmed. And then eventually get them up on the Facebook store for people. So I have been doing odd bits, but as I said I've pretty well been working most of it, unfortunately. Um, that's pretty much all I have to say. Hopefully I'll get back to doing normal sort of video every couple of weeks. I'm gradually working myself to get back to crafting. I um, had a few things to deal with that people that know me know about. And I will see you all soon. So take care, keep crafting, keep gaming as much as we can. Um, obviously it's hard at the moment, so we've been board gaming online, which is great fun, so it just means it still keeps going. Not quite the same as all being sat around the table, but roll on the good times, eh? Right, take care, see you soon. Cheers.